What's up, TikTok? I'm Laura, and you're watching Atomic News, and I'm going to give you the news in 60 seconds or less, so let's do it. Hey, guess what? Let's go Heather. That's the new one. First we have Let's Go Brandon. Now we have Let's Go Heather. Kamala Harris had quite the embarrassing moment the other day as she was literally walking up to the podium to speak. And you can see that it's her walking up to the podium to speak. The announcer announces somebody else. I can't remember the last name, but it's Heather something or other. And she's literally standing at the podium. Awkward like that, staring. She's just like, uh, what do I do? What do I say? And so she says something to the effect of, uh, coming up next or something like that. And, uh, oh my God, no wonder her ratings are plummeting. Let's go, Heather. There's an Oregon Democrat that is currently being slammed over social media for saying that black Americans should get the day off if Kyle Rittenhouse is basically found not guilty because he feels like black Americans are going to have a problem dealing with that. My question is, why are they going to have a problem? Because everybody that was involved was white. Huh. So J.B. Pritzker of Illinois, who I am not a fan of, uh, he just decided he was going to change some health care laws in the state. That's right. He just signed it into law Monday. Basically, if you don't get the vaccine, there can be repercussions. That is absolutely unacceptable in any way, shape, or form in this country. And J.B. Prisker, I hope you get voted out this next time. You don't deserve your role.